Today, we're gonna to be finding out what is the weight difference between the Pro model tarmac frame and the S-Works model SL7 tarmac frame. Uh, I always wanna do this video comparison. I have two of the exact same size frame sets here. One is the Pro model, which retails for $3,300, compared to the S-Works model, which is $5,500. I'll be weighing the whole body, also the fork. The seat posts are exactly the same. The stems are a little bit different. I think the uh, S-Works stem comes with titanium bolts but mainly I want just to see what the overall weight difference is between the two of them. Now, some things to consider before we get into this, this pro frame right here is painted in a gloss, whereas this is a more of a matte coated, but it has some uh, spectral flare in there or some like flakes inside of there. So keep that in mind while we're weighing it. And also just so you guys know as well, um, the pro frame sets, I don't know if anyone ever knew this, but the pro frame sets itself are 3,300 bucks. This frame set sold, and then they also make a white with the uh, Snake Eyes Chameleon color with the logo. Um, <clears throat> those frame sets are the exact same frames that come on the Comp level, the Expert level, and the Pro. They're all the exact same frame sets, it's just different components, but it's the same style frame set. This is their different level of carbon, which we'll get into in a second. But, like I said, I got my scale here, which I'm going to weigh uh, the frames differently. I'll weigh the forks as well, and then we'll add them up to see what the difference is. So let me go ahead and get these scales ready and then we'll go into there. <sighs> All right, so now I'm looking at those frames and the scale. Uh, they're obviously not gonna sit on there. So I need to find a box I can put on here to tear out the weight and then reweigh it while it has something to be able to support the weight without it touching or overlapping onto the floor. And no, I'm not gonna weigh it on the carpet, comment section. All right, last time I did that, you guys like crucified me as if I was like, uh, like, like just a horrible person. I'll put on tile. People will literally like psh, waste stuff on carpet. What is the guy, idiot? No, all right, granted. Another thing as well about the frame sets. This frame is their 10R carbon. This is specialized 10R carbon. This is what they call it. 10R being, 10 is their level of carbon. R stands for road. You'll see mountain use M for reference. The difference between this one, the S-Works frame, is that they come with 12R carbon. 12R is going to be the top tier carbon you can get for a road bike. Um, now keep this in mind. It's not all about the weight difference. They do, there is different strengths to it as well with the S-Works carbon. They will say that the, the 12R is going to be a little bit stiffer laterally and that's going to be a better all around product. That's why there's a 1,000, no, that's why there's a $2,200 price hike on there. But really, I just want to see the weight on there. You guys be the judge of if it's worth it or not. I'm here just to give you guys some details of this, all right? So let me get a box. All right, so first up is going to be the S-Works frame set. Uh, the only thing I'm keeping on here is the derailleur hanger. And that bike will have the exact same derailleur hanger as well on the Pro model. We are going to be removing this plastic little through axle. So give me one second. I'm going to take this bitch out. <laughs> yeah. So I got my makeshift little frame holder. Let's go ahead and turn a scale on and then we'll tear it and that way we'll get a good accurate weight. So 167, tear, insert frame into frame holder-esque. Oh yeah, line up for me. Seven hundred, yeah. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Okay, seven hundred and eighty-four grams onto the Pro frame set. Let's go. Okay, so Pro frame set is in hand, size fifty-four, just like the S works. We remove the plastic through axle thingy, Majigger Baba We're gonna put this into our makeshift holder. As we can see, is zero weight for the frame right now, or for the the box. Let's put this some biscuit right here. Okay, so it's in, we're not touching, we're good. And this is 907 grams. Again, this is a different carbon level. So this is a lower tier level than that carbon of the S-Works. So it should be lighter, but also taking into consideration, we do have a gloss clear coat over this thing or the gloss coat of the paint job, which will be a little bit heavier, but keep that in mind. So now I'm gonna get the forks and we'll go from there. 907 grams compared to the other one and we'll add up at the end. In my hand right now is the stock S-Works SL7 fork in a size 54 with an uncut steer. Remember this guy, so this will be an uncut steer. 
So this is for the S-Works bike that's over there, okay? So right now we have our scale on here, zero grams. Let's put it on top of our box. Turn it right away. And this fork weighs, damn, it's pretty heavy. But again, it's uncut, 372 grams. So again, we'll add that up afterwards. So you guys can be like little weight wings. <laughs> and now on hand, I have the fork to the Pro S works, I'm oh, sorry, the Pro Tarmac SL7 frame and a 54. Same size uncut steer, so you guys can get a visual that they're exact same size of fork. Same length and all. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy on there. So the scale is set to zero already. And we're going to weigh it in the exact same position. This is 416 grams, okay? Now again, I'm going to add this up together. We're going to talk about it. But I'm not weighing the seat posts because the seat posts are identical height and the exact same seat posts. They don't make different seat posts per model. They're all the same. And two, the stems are literally, I think, just titanium bolts if I have to be different. So stems are, are is a wash almost right there. So let's go ahead and get these things put back in the boxes and we'll talk about it. So there we have it, guys. Two identical sizes in the Tarmac SL7 lineup. One, the top tier S-Works frame set that is $5,500 to the Tarmac SL7 Pro frame set that retails for 3,300 bucks, both identical in terms of that. One is a gloss paint job, one is a matte paint job. Usually matte paint jobs are always lighter, but the S-Works Tarmac SL7 with the uncut steer fork comes in at 1,156 grams. And then the gloss Tarmac SL7 Pro with the uncut steer comes in at 1,323 grams. So that is a difference of about uh, one, uh, <laughs> That's my numbers. Granted, I think it's like a, uh, 175 grams. So, and again, it's not just about the weight here. And uh, the, you guys can say that I sound salesman-ish, salesman whatever, full disclosure, I do so specialize. But myself, I am riding a Tarmac SL7 comp and I have rode S-Works before in the past. It's not always about the weight when you pay for the difference of the S-Works price tag. What you're getting when, when also you're upgrading to that frame is that that carbon is going to be lighter and it's going to be uh, stiffer. So it is the top tier, no compromise you can get. The racers are riding this on Tour de France. That is the lightest and the best performing frame set you can get of this platform of a bike. I have ridden S-Works frame sets before, S-Works frame sets before, and I will say the bikes just feel like they react quicker. They feel like they handle faster. They feel like they, they, uh, they feel like they just react to speed and giddy up and, and getting on the saddle faster. Um, do I think that if you buy a pro comp or expert that you're going to get dropped on the same exact group ride if you don't have a certain bike? No. But in terms of a marginal gain situation in a race, um, in a time situation, if you're looking to perform your overall thing, you're really on your data, your numbers, then the S-Works is going to give you that top tier kind of race performance. But the S-Works, or sorry, the Tarmac SL7 platform in a whole or in a general, like my comp over here, I have no issue staying in any group ride that I shouldn't be on or should be on. Um and I enjoy it much more. The bike performs how it should. It feels close to what the S-Works is gonna feel, just that it's gonna be a little bit heavier and maybe take a little bit more of the giddy up out of it. But I figured if you guys want to know this information, I always was curious about what's the exact weight on here. This is the closest I get to it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about my hot bike with some Favero power meter pedals, ceramic speed bottom bracket, Nova Thread OSPW, hyper wheels, Damn, my bike looks good, man. Mm, I rode uh, yesterday, 35 miles, 200 feet of elevation, but the average speed on it was, for my average speed on Strava, was like 19 and a half miles per hour, which was super fast for me. I got about eight rides, and I haven't been on the bike like on or off for like two years. So I felt very good out there, but I'm feeling today, I feel worse. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.